Hey guys, this is Everything Fish doing species info number two in memorial of one of the angelfish that I lost a couple days ago from a bacterial infection. And I apologize if the water's a little cloudy, but I just changed filter pads. So let's get into it. So the name of the fish today is Fr angelfish. Scientific name is Terraphyllum scalare. Other names are Freshwater angelfish and scalare angelfish. There are many strains of it, including pearls, kois, blues, platinum, zebras, marbles, blacks, half blacks. Mine's a koi, and it might be even more recessive than that, but I'm not sure. Uh, it's in the cichlid family, which most people actually don't know if you're just getting into the hobby, but if you're experienced, you'd know that. Uh, the origin are parts of Guyana and Brazil and most of Peru for the wild ones, but 95% of the ones you see at fish stores are going to be uh, locally bred because they are fairly easy to breed if you know what you're doing. I'd recommend them if you're new to breeding and you want to start out. Uh, it was described by Skjolts in 1823. Tank size is 30 gallons for a pair. And larger if you want more, but if you can do a tall tank, then prefer that, but it's not necessary. Max size is 6 inches. Temperament is peaceful for the most part, but they can be feisty towards small fish such as Neon Tetris. Experience is moderate. While they are fairly easy, they can be sensitive to bad water parameters. They are an omnivorous fish, so best food would be high quality flake small pellets and frozen or freeze dried blood worms or brine shrimp temperature range is 75 to 84 preferably on the higher end 80 would be ideal ph is 6.0 to 7.5 they do prefer it on the lower side but captive red ones are not picky activity level well this varies some of them are very graceful and slow their movements but some like mine swim belligerently and quickly best tank makes would be other angel fish smaller and more docile cichlids such as apistos and rams medium sized tetras smaller catfish such as quarries and smaller plecos avoid putting fast active fish and fin nippers such as giant danios with the slower moving ones although fast ones should be okay with them for the most part. Uh, for decor, driftwood is not necessary, but they're very appreciative of it. They like the softer water. They're also quite common to see in planted communities, so they like plant tanks. So they are beautiful and graceful fish, but one must be diligent on checking water quality because they can be sensitive to high nitrates. And if you have any ammonia and nitrate in your tank, you can pretty much say goodbye to them. Not good for cycling tanks. They're ideal for the peaceful community and very personable towards their owners, as you can see mine's being. Alright, see you guys next time. I hope you found this video helpful.